dropping the ball. You guys are dropping the ball. And all these men have women in their lives. But yet the women are actually making things work. They're actually, basically, they're putting the last nail in his coffin without putting the last nail in his coffin and not even knowing it. What if they didn't have me to come to? What if they didn't have the the inner emotional strength the inner uh, hey, y'all. KD, how are you? Hey, my Insta son, how are you? Hey, Jamie. How y'all feeling? I'm sorry, I was over there getting a drink. I missed some of y'all comments. Hey! <laughs> how are you? Hey, Ty. Good day. I'm over here posting. Hey, KD, KD we got a chat. Hey, seductive. Hey, nephew. There go my other son, Jay Brad. All my sons on here. Hey, baby. I'm posting this real quick, y'all. That's see, that's that's my dog right there, King Carl in the building. Thank you, honey. I haven't got a retwist in like two months, honey. I had to just throw it up today. I'm in Utah. How y'all doing? I am the city. Hey, hey, honey. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel great. Hey, Chris. I'm out here. I'm out here this way. A little bit. Hey Trinidad, how are you? Um, yeah, I had to post this real quick, y'all. It's like a five minute video. I, it's like a five minute video. Hey nephew, I see you, white. So, <laughs> oh, thank you, DC. So look, y'all. Look, this is what's going on. Yeah, I'm in Utah. I'm not that close. You finna be in NY, but when I give it, okay. You gonna take your mom to lunch? <laughs> um. So, yeah, so um, in the last 24 hours, y'all, I have had I've had four of my guy friends reach out to me and tell me that they're ready to take themselves out. OK, so that tells me that there are even more out there. OK, so for the ladies that are in here, check on your man, check on your brothers, check on your father, check on your son. Uh, Farrah would, if you guys have questions, put them in the question box, please. So that way I can answer them. Um, I, Hey Gary. Hey, how are you? I'm still waiting for Twan to call me this morning, but yeah. Hey Gary, I appreciate you. So the, yeah. So in the last 24 hours, you guys, I have had four of my guy friends reach out to me and they were talking about offing themselves, right? One of them, uh, two of them I talked to yesterday and two of them I'm about to talk to. Hey Greg, how are you? Two of them, I'm a, hey, Chippas, much love, respect, West Coast. So two of them I talked to last night, and I'm still going to, you know, have to um, check in on them regularly. And then two of them I'm, I'm going to talk to after we get off of here. And it's so sad because all of these men have women in their lives, yet the women are failing to hold up their end of the deal. The women are actually making things worse, like, this one of one of my guys he actually told his girl that he wanted to take himself out and she continued to bash him she continued to degrade him she continued to 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 talk to him like as if he was nothing okay so it's basically like you got the last nail and you nailing you nailing you you, you put it in his coffin it's ridiculous no you got to get out of here you're not gonna sit up there and tell me that black women ain't shit you gonna get your ass up out of here today. Get your ass up out of here, cause you a lie. Just because, and listen, I understand, I understand that you may wanna categorize it like that, but sometimes people only date black women. Therefore, all you're going to see is the fact that the women that you were involved with treated you badly, but that doesn't mean that all of black women are bad. That doesn't mean that all white women, like listen, Regardless, it, it, I don't give a fuck about race, creed, color, culture, no, none of that. There are people that act out in ways that they shouldn't towards other people. And then what happens is the person ends up offing themselves in different cultures across the board. So I don't want to hear that bullshit. Everybody be trying to use race and cultural background as an excuse for their little bullshit and, and their rants. No, absolutely not. I have seen people from all races, creeds, colors, backgrounds be fucked up towards other people. Okay. So, so, and, 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 and I, I'm not even here to talk about that. I'm not even here to talk about no race, color, creed, and all that. But 
Y'all have to understand, ladies, you have to start checking on your men. You have to start checking on your sons. You have to start checking on your fathers, your uncles, your, your cousins, and, and, and men. You guys got to check on your on you guys. You, you, I, and this is what I see also. A lot of men will bash other men and call them soft or simps for going through something psychological. Like you guys don't even understand. Like this man is in, he's opening up to you. He thinks that you're his friend. He thinks you're his boy. He thinks you're his family member. And he's opening up to you. I, you know how many men I have seen degrade other men and devalue other men. And, 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 and that was the, the space that they could have used to encourage another man. I see it all the time. I see it all the time. Guys, stop talking shit to each other. Stop talking shit about each other. Just because he's going through something mentally or emotionally or relationally does not mean that you sit up there and bash him. Oh, you soft. Oh, you this. Okay. So, so that means when you're at the lowest of your low, when your girl ain't there, when your boy, ain't, like, like when your boy, you trying to talk to your boy about something. So does that mean you get to sit up there and, and talk bad about him see a, a lot this boils down to the maturity level of the man like a lot of y'all call yourselves men but yet you are sitting up here tearing down other men how do you call yourself a man when you sit up there talking bad about the next man instead of pulling him up instead of encouraging him, instead of lifting him up are you not your brother's keeper are you not your brother's keeper are you not your friend's keeper y'all sit up there calling people your boy and you sit up there calling him your brother and, and, and you sit up there talking shit about him, talking bad about him because he going through something emotionally or relationally with his girl. Are you serious? Are you serious? Like seriously. I, I, I see it all the time. I see it all the time. My daughter in here, I just seen you come in here, sweetie. How are you, honey? Um, yeah, so, so, that, so that's why it's like, it's like y'all, y'all, y'all as men, okay, if you call yourself a man, if you call yourself a good man, then, then, then do what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be there for him. You're not supposed to talk bad about him. Hey, baby. Yeah, you're supposed to talk, you, you're not supposed to talk bad about him. Like, you don't, you, you never know when you're going to be in a position where you're going to be vulnerable or when you want to check out and all you have is your friend or somebody that calls you, themselves their, your brother. And then all of a sudden they start to bash you or they start to start to uh, talk down on you and tell you you're soft and you're a simp because you actually are showing emotion. Like you really showing your true emotion. Ain't nothing wrong with men showing their emotion. I don't even like, like, this is the thing like, like, and this is why so many men take themselves out. You guys have to get this. You guys have to catch this. And you guys have to understand this because ever since you came into the world, people were telling you to suck it up, be strong, get up. You scraped your knee. Don't cry. You guys have been taught to stuff your emotions down since you were a kid. And then they expect you as an adolescent to grow up and stick up for yourself in school, to grow up and be this cr uh, great partner in life that's able to communicate with your spouse. And it doesn't happen that way because boys have been taught to shut up since they came into the world. Okay. Stop telling men not to display their feelings. Do you know that the more you tell him that, the more he stuffs it down because he doesn't want to look soft or weak to y'all. And then he offs himself because it's too much up in here, it's too much in his spirit, it's too much going on. Do you understand that? Do you understand that part? I gotta let my bro in. Oh. Never mind, that was y'all understand that part though for real do y'all understand that part that men have always been taught to shut up but then when he gets and then when you go to school they'll be like oh you got to stick up for yourself but you have told him you have taught him since he was born to shut up and not stick up for himself and not have an opinion and not voice himself when something is out of place how how This is sickening. It's really sickening. And for the women out there who think this shit is a game, y'all think that, oh, well, you should be able to take it. Oh, you're not a man if you can't take it. Oh, you crying over me. Oh, you, you soft. You, you a sip. You ain't, you weak. How about the fact that he has never been able to regulate his emotions in a proper manner because he's never been able to talk about them. So let him, he don't understand you, let alone understand himself because he don't know himself yet.
It's ridiculous. And, and y'all that have children that are bringing up children, bringing up grandchildren, bringing up nieces and nephews, allow these children to speak up. It's not about it, them being disrespectful. I've always allowed my kids to speak up. My daughter's on here right now. She will tell you. My kids have always been able to voice their opinions, voice their thoughts, voice their uh, what's important to them, voice their concerns, because I wanted them to be able to think for themselves as an adult. My kids are never disrespectful towards me. I wanted them to be able to speak up for themselves as an adult. I wanted them to be able to hold their own, if you will, okay? My kids aren't disrespectful, but they do voice their opinions. And a lot of time when they were growing up, they were kids, but they would tell me something. I'd be like, you know what? You're right. I'm talking about two, three, five. Like, it's, it, it's serious. Like, allow your kids to speak up. Allow these uh, nieces and nephews and these grandkids to speak up. You will be amazed at how how smart and intelligent, how wise they are and how spiritually in tune they are. Yes, they label this as men's mental health awareness a month, what awareness month. But you know what? I, I do this every single day. So I don't give a fuck about no month. I do this for y'all day in and day out, 365 days a year for years. Go ahead and check my track record. I show up every single day, whether it's phys something on physical intimacy, whether it's some wisdom, whether it's something funny, whether it's to help your mental wellness, whether it's to help your relationship, whether it's to help you grow and thrive. I show up for y'all every single day, every day. Okay. So it's not about the month. It's not about the month. It's about the fact that y'all really do matter. Every day, all day. Yes, Eric. Thank you. Thank you, Frederick. I appreciate you. So yeah, like, 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 like something has got to change and, 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 and it starts with one person at a time. Like I was talking to my bro yesterday and, and I'm out here in Utah working with him right now. We're working on this project. The project is larger than life. It's going to be in, in theaters and, and it's going to be all over. Okay. This is, this is part of his legacy that he wants to leave, not only for himself, but other people, other friends and family members of his have trusted them with their legacy because they couldn't make it come into fruition. And so we're about to bring this thing. We're about to bring this thing head on. You guys, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. And it's different people's stories, different the way, the way different people have impacted their lives and things of that nature. Uh, it's hard for me to get to DMs. The best way to um, get in touch with me is to call me on the number. I do answer my own phone. Some of y'all call and you hear me pick up and you just hang up on me. But, um, but you have to understand that, um, uh, where was I going with this y'all? Yeah. So, so it, that's, that's the thing that you, when, when you are a selfless person, when you are a selfless person, you can do things like how I do. The reason why I do what I do is because I, I, I was built for this. Like God sent me, right? Y'all know that because I do this every single day and I do it effortlessly. Right. And so, okay, I'm gonna put it up right now. Somebody asked for my cash app. I'm going to put it up here. I appreciate y'all's support. And it's funny. It's funny that y'all will y'all will go and, and splurge on, on these naked women online. But yet when I ask for support, I, I listen, I'm telling you, when I ask for support, I don't get it. Honestly. Like y'all be like, oh, yeah, we appreciate what you do. And then yeah, like like y'all 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 will catch everybody else out. But when it comes to what I do, I'm telling you right now, I, I have about five to ten people that really support me, honestly. And that's ridiculous because I have over, across the board, I have over half a million followers. So I appreciate y'all support for real. Um, so anyways, um, and, and I was talking to my bro yesterday and, I, and, and this is the thing that this is my motto. I've been living by this for years. If I'm living and breathing and I'm not encouraging, uplifting or supporting somebody, what is my life worth? Right? So what is my life worth if I'm not helping somebody while I'm living, walking and breathing? Because we all got to go sometime. There's going to be times where we can't talk. There's going to be times we can't walk. We can't think straight. So while I have it in me, and, and this is my purpose and my calling, and I, and, and I have all these different assignments, which are human beings. A lot of y'all, let me just say this, because I was talking to my brother about this yesterday. A lot of y'all miss the mark because you think of yourself so much. You have a meme. I call it a meme mentality. You think of yourself so much. You never have time to think about anybody else. You never have time to encourage anybody else. You never have time to check on anybody else, right? And so... What happens is you become so consumed with yourself that you think that you, you're the only one that matters. And therefore, when some, when the tension isn't all on you, then you play victim. You, 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 you can't, you can't, uh, you can't encourage nobody else. You can't support, support nobody else. You can't uplift nobody else because it's all about you. It's not about you. Make sure that you're okay. Make sure that you're good, right? Mentally, physically, psychologically, and spiritually, right? 
but make sure you check on other people. Make sure you show up for other people because uh, 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 those people that are, are within your realm, those people are your assignments. Those people are, you're called to encourage them. You're called to support them. You're called to uplift certain people. And when you stuck in that me, me, me mentality, you will never get it. You will miss the mark every single time on the assignments, which are human beings that the universe, God, whatever, Allah, whatever you believe in, has put into your life. A lot of y'all be missing the mark because you're so focused on yourself. It's not always about you. Make sure you're good, yes, but make sure you are, are, are influencing and encouraging and supporting the people around you that are within your realm, within your grasp. Show up for other people. Yes, kingdom. Yes, men matter. Absolutely. And we need y'all. You will never, ever, ever hear me say, I don't need y'all. Like, I love y'all, support y'all. I encourage y'all. We need y'all. There's There are certain things that a man can can do uh, physically. There are certain things that a man can do spiritually. There are certain things that, 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 that a man carries when it comes to wisdom that women just don't carry. So sometimes, ladies, it's the simple fact that you need to shut the fuck up. And I will not stop saying that. Hey, queen, I will not stop saying that. Sometimes, ladies, it's just that you need to shut the fuck up. Go cook him a meal. And if you don't know how to cook, baby, then call me. I got you. I was, I was, I was you know, like going to open a restaurant at one point. Like, I got you. Cook for him. Clean for him. Get him a shower going. Do his nails. Do his feet. Make sure... <laughs> Make sure you do that too. Make sure you, you, you let him fall asleep in your arms while you massage in his head. Like y'all, like, like for real, like take care of him. And I don't want to hear about, oh, I did that for someone and he, okay, well, what, okay, well, what happened with you though? And, and even, and even if he did that, that says more about him than it did you. So that doesn't mean you get to take it out on the next man just because you got treated badly by one. Just because you got treated badly by one does not mean that everybody gonna treat you bad. Just, just like I just kicked that dude out talking about, oh, black women ain't shit. Okay, well, you ain't shit then. Because it boils down to your mentality for even thinking that way. Just because just because you have black women in your life that treated you a certain way don't mean that all of them are bad. If that was the case, why are y'all even following me? Make it make sense. Y'all act like y'all done dated every black woman in the world. Stop that bullshit too. I'm talking about every single cultural background across, across the grid. Stop that stupid shit. It's about the person. It's about their mentality. It's about their maturity. It's about, it's about uh, whether they choose to uh, deal with their inside shit and dig it out. Stop that bullshit. I don't even want to hear it no more. Y'all be making excuses for treating people like shit. Stop. Stop. Look within yourself and figure out what you need to fix within yourself. Thank you, Pastor Nadia. I appreciate you. I had to come in here and preach the house down one time. My brother gonna get on with me in a little while. I've been stressing that my other half only feels it about material. Th yes, absolutely, absolutely. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something. The other day I was talking to someone and he was like, oh, well, I've been getting, you know, random cash app requests. And I'm like, from who? He's like, 500 out here, 300 out He's like, my girl, I'm like, I'm like, and she's not telling you what it's for. And I'm like, how often do y'all see each other? Because why she just requesting cash instead of calling you on the phone saying, hey, oh, well, can you or I need help with this? But like, and then the more the story went on, I was like, man, she using you. Keep on. I said, I said, listen, pay attention to the patterns. Keep on. Keep on. And then what she did, and then let me tell you what she did. She said, oh, well, I didn't want it for nothing. I just want to, I just wanted, I just wanted you to send it to make me feel good. What? Hello? He Listen, he did not need a motherfucking appointment with me to know that. He's just in denial because he still wants to be with the girl for whatever reason. Y'all be sitting up there doing stupid shit. Like I said, y'all will sit up here and keep on throwing money away, right? But the, what, listen, when I need support, when I ask for support, y'all sit up there and look at me like I'm fucking stupid, right? But then y'all be calling me and, and, and thinking that I'm supposed to just get on the phone. Like a lot of people think that I'm supposed to do stuff for free. Y'all be thinking I'm supposed to do calls for free. I'm supposed to do counseling and sessions for free. Absolutely not. Why? I was doing this before social media. I'm a certified counselor. Okay. And also besides, even if I didn't have a piece of paper attached to me, the, the whole simple fact is that the value that I carry, like it's, it's priceless. What I carry is priceless. The wisdom I give y'all is priceless. You, you can go back fucking years. You can go back almost four years on this platform alone and other platforms even, even further. And you can get that encouragement there for free. But when it comes to a one-on-one, -on -one, do you, do you realize how much 
my time is limited, y'all. So when I take time out, I'm, I'm telling you, when I take time out, 